Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm at the RTR in Quartzsite, Arizona. Well, I'm at the RTR here. It's the first time I've got up here. Riding with my buddy Ed. Hello. <laughs> He's driving this Lincoln Navigator. I'm gonna come up here with him and take a look around. Go down this and look at the pre-RTR area and then we'll drive through. So you've already been in here, huh? Oh yeah, I've been up and down all this a bunch of times. I've given a bunch of people Good gracious, tours through all this. So these are the people that didn't actually go inside. This is still outside the RTR. I wonder how many RVs we got here this year. Oh my goodness. You think we got what? 20,000. I'd say probably two or three. Well, it's nice and flat out here. I've never been this far down this road. It goes way down. So we got travel trailers, homemade travel trailers. There's a little shuttle bus, class A's, class B's, class C's, toy haulers. Yeah. Everybody's here. Ooh, is that a Prevo? That's a Prevo. Well, there's that's a million. Yeah. Two million. You know, I always thought I wanted one until I sat down in one and said, I don't want to have to drive it and park it. <laughs> you got that right. But I guess if you can spend a couple mil for one, you can afford somebody to drive it for you. It's just not for the way I camp. I always thought a Prevo would be my, I've arrived, I'm successful now if I can get me one. The only thing I like about them is there's most of them have a 20,000 watt generator. There's a BT Cruiser. Well, that's big enough, isn't it? Run a house. He's got that Honda Pioneer. I've camped with the old Chuck here a good bit. He's got his dog. What's his dog's name? Kaiser. Kaiser. That's right. Sporting the Miller flag sign. I don't think he recognizes it. I don't think he saw me. Good morning, Chuck. Oh. <laughs> it's nobody. We're taking the stealth. Somebody. We're taking the stealth vehicle. <laughs> I'm like, who, who the hell is stopping here? Uh, hey, Chuck. Good morning. I, I didn't recognize your vehicle. Right. So How we, are we going out at one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's this, this, over, this overcast sky? It means we don't have to worry about getting sunburned. Okay. That's what I mean. Good deal. Good deal. Making it rain. How like beer camp? That's it's right impressive. <laughs> yeah, I just don't have a taste for beer, but I do like a, a wine cooler every so often, maybe one or two a year. Well, we, so, might, we might be able to hook you up with. with I hear you. How many? How many people do you think? How many RVs were here? Do you know? In this section, which well, is no, not the RTR. So we're not even R at RTR overflow. No, oh. this is an R RTR is next wash over. Good gracious! Yeah. Th thousands, huh? We went out uh, four wheeling the other day. We were up on one of the mountains and we looked over here. There were more people in this section, which is the non RTR, than yep. over in yep. the RTR spot. Oh wow, thousands of yes. it, thousands. So I, I think that they're uh, they said it was about eight thousand people. I I think that's. Uh, I think that's reasonable to assume. Yeah. Or Might even be a little more. more. Yeah. So uh, Chuck, he's got the he doesn't have a razor. He's got the Pioneer. And, and then Ed, you've got you've got a what year razor? Uh, it's a 2009 800s. Yeah, yeah, he bought that when we were camping up in uh, Craggy Wash. All right, we're gonna look around. Thanks for saying hello. All right. Nice, nice shirt. You know, you know what I call that color? What? Don't run over me, yellow. <laughs> That's right. Traffic safety, yellow. Yep. <laughs> All right. Be safe out there. All right. Talk to you later, Chuck. If you're uh, if you ever watched any of my videos when I started out, I wore that all the time because I worked out around traffic. It actually saved my life. I know of at least once. I stepped out in front of a car and she slammed on the brakes and she says, and she slid up to me. She's all cussing me and stuff. I, oh, she let down her passenger window and I was all apologizing. I, she said, if I didn't, you wasn't wearing that shirt, I'd have ran over you, I wouldn't have saw you. So I started calling it, don't run over me yellow. <laughs> <laughs> but I wore it for so long, Ed, with my business, I just got tired of it. So when I shut my business down, I threw all my yellow t-shirts away. Everybody asked me, why don't you wear it anymore? Because I was tired of it. So we, this is the 
actual entry right here. So this is what everybody was concerned about, yep. getting their RV through this. Yep. That is kind of, that's bad enough. I hate to have like a 35 footer bus. Hey, look at little Samurai. Had four of those. Good gracious at the people. So this first camping area is for like handicapped and stuff and they want don't want us just driving through it. I understand. Art camp on this side. And this is wash number two of six. Goodness. This one ran yesterday. Look at all that silt. Mm-hmm. Looks like they got a, a a meeting going on over there. Yep. This is main camp here. So they've got some kind of uh so we'll just pull through and drive through the parking lot so we can get a little closer. So it looks like Bob Wells is putting on one of his events. There he is up on the stage. Porta potties. Lots of people. I, I've um uh, Ed, I, I hear a lot of people putting Bob down anti-bob this and anti-bob that but you know he's just a guy yeah he's, he's just a guy he's, yeah. he's not perfect he's got problems like the rest of us um i don't like everything that he does but he went out of his way to make all this happen and he also spent twenty thousand dollars of his own money to make this happen so i didn't know that all the people that complain how much did they pitch in did well, they volunteer or did they pitch in a dollar if not yeah well, you, you have to you have to admire his uh what's the right word like you said, he, he, this wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Yeah. Exactly. That's it. Hold on. He's, he's pointing at us here. We got traffic coming the other way. Still lots of people here, though. It's a nice event. No, Bob's not a perfect guy, but I, I admire what he's trying to do to bring this community together and uh, show people a different way of living. Looks like to me, Ed, that there's there's a lot of there's still a lot of room for people to, to camp here. But you were here earlier, right? Yes. All that's, that's my <laughs> notification, <laughs> Chewbacca. Oh, I thought that was Tucker. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> all of this was full. And I'd say at least half the people that were here at the RTR have already left. Oh wow. But how much longer is it gonna go on? How many days are we into the I RTR? Think Sunday is the last day and Monday is the clear out day. And today is Friday? Thursday. Thursday. You know you're doing it. You know what? If you don't know what day it is, you're doing it right. Yes. Absolutely. That's a sign of success. So a lot of people have already gone. Yeah, just imagine there were, there were rigs down the middle here and both sides. Two, three deep on both sides. Boy, that's a pretty conversion van camper. Look at those marks. I used to work for a van conversion place for a minute. Look at that, Oliver. That's a two-piece... Just clamshell. Yeah. It's like a scamp on steroids. Neat. You know who makes the, the best of those? I think those Bigfoot. Bigfoot makes a little travel trailer that's real similar to that. Very heavy insulated. There's a Dodge four-wheel drive. I have never seen a Dodge four-wheel drive van. You know what? I don't think I've seen that before either. I had a 98 model, but mine was a long. It He's was got a rhino long. line too, it looks like. That sucker sharp. Yeah, that is set up for some serious back country. I like it. Wow. Look at the ground clearance. What's he got there on the side? I think that's a fridge, like a marine fridge. No, it's got a, it's a door. I bet he's got a genie right there. We get this thing in the center. I'm sitting here talking, and I look over, and it's out of Look, he's got solar, focus. Up on flexible solar on the roof. Mm -hmm. If he's got a 318 in there, or, well, it's either a 318 or 360. Yeah. He's got a good engine. Yeah. Yeah, look, propane fills. He's got a big tank underneath. See the, see the little yellow? Yellow cap. It's an RV fill. Mm-hmm. Neat. That's done right. Yeah, it is. Cool. We got truck campers. There's another little 136 Pro Master over there. Right there's a little 136. Oh, neat, neat, neat. see that every day. It's in the 60s. Yeah. 62, 63. Look at 
old Econo line. That was my first experience with a van. A buddy of mine had one in high school. We had a bunch of fun with that thing. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that little ride through the RTR. It's the first time I've been this far up on the road. I want to thank Ed here for being the, the driver, chauffeur, narrator. He knew more about what was going on up there than I did. But uh, that was fun. Okay, well, I got to end this little video somewhere. So I'm going to end it right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ed. Thank you.